I'm Losa must have died, even though it made the noise. Holy crap. That was awful. Oh, I can't believe how awful that was. No more of that garbage, please. Oh, I feel so numb inside. What the fuck? You reach for your weapon. Hey, buddy. As the small void woken skitters forward, you get the sense that it's not here to fight. Adorable. It looks at Fane, clicking and chittering in excitement, and introduces itself. Fane starts in shock. He knows it. The Fane's void woken was a colleague from Fane's days at the academy. Hey, that's cool. His assistant. It claims it knows how to save the Eternals. It promises Fane that if he can snatch the powers of the Seven, then he can restore his people. Not under the rule of the God King or the Void, they would finally be free. Fane turns away, pensive and quiet. Even as a skull, you can see the pain etched into his face. Hi, buddy. The truth hangs heavy upon the air itself, unspoken. This is the point of no return. Somewhere beyond this point, you shall be undone, or you shall ascend. There is no middle ground. Ready for this. All right, maybe this is the end. Holy crap, that was awful. Bad. Goodness gracious me. Hey. My goodness. Here we are, Quirkus. This is it. What do you mean, Quirkus? Of course I'm prepared. I have my noble steed below me and my trusted shield beside me. What more could I need? His whiskers crack into a mischievous smile. And I may have cracked the spell that will stop the great acorn in its furious tracks, if that's what you that's right, Quirkus. We've done it! That's right, Quirkus. Sir Laura turns to you. I don't want to have a cat in this pride. game. I owe you an apology, Shield. At the start of our journey, I wouldn't have believed a human would lead me to the discovery that would save us all. But I see now that my prejudice was foolish. Without you, Quercus and I might still be stuck on that abominable prison island. Now, here I am. Here we are. On the brink of saving the world. I'm glad you, uh, you cracked the spell. Shouldn't you use it. Indeed. Quercus and I will find an advantageous location and do just that. Meanwhile, you must prevent the servants of the Acorn from interrupting us. <laughs> Salora takes a slow, deep breath and lets it out in a rush. You feel it, don't you? It's so still, but there's something behind it, too, like a thunderclap waiting to fall. The great acorn is nearly here. Its servants are poised for impact. We've known this moment would come. Now it is time to put my research to the test. I am ready. Quercus is ready. And you, S.H.I.E.L.D.? Yes, I have Ruby. What say you, Quirkus? That's good enough for you. Then it's good enough for me, too. Salora grabs your pinky with his tiny paw. He gives it a decisive shake. <laughs> I love this. No matter what happens next, S.H.I.E.L.D., there's something Quirkus and I want you to know. It yeah. has been an honor. Now, onward! Am I supposed to follow him? Fuck! Was that? Come here often. I don't know what you. Melody! You just released a source blood. I thought I'd come and see what all the fuss was about. Should have known you were getting yourself into trouble. Hey, Amira and Gareth. Arquin, you can suck it. Looks like the big moment has finally arrived. I will do everything I can to support you, Godwoken. 
Oh, I will Melody, please don't betray me. I think you'll need it. I want to say this, but also she's done so much for us in the past. Gratitude. Don't underestimate the power of true prayer. This is a place of incredible power. I like how she teleports in and knocks him. Holds the weight of thousands. Your heart and soul will fill as quickly as they're drained. Consider it a taste of your divine future. The people will pray for you. In turn, they'll trust you to do right by them. As I'm trusting you to do now. Of course, it's up to you whether or not to listen. I know how I'd respond, but you do you. Malady wearily chuckles to herself, then bows her head in a show of unexpected but sincere reverence. Looks like my investments paid off after all. I need worship, only one divine, and I believe he stands before me now. You've shown me kindness in the face of my sins. My worship is the least I can offer. Really? I've always preferred right. to be the one reaping the attention, but you've turned the tables. I suppose it's only right, seeing as how a new divinity may stand before me. Now go. Rivalon needs a new divine. Oh. Weird. Feel the power of your allies praying to you, their devotion, fighting you, infinite source. Oh, ha, ha, excuse me? Woo hoo hoo! Woo! Ooh, this is gonna feel good. Hopefully, after that shit show. It, whoa. Me. Um. Level three fives. Hey, Sir Laura, my dude. Let's go. Oh, we we got that piece of gear. Picked it up. Fuck! Did I not pick it up? I didn't pick it up, did I? Fucking. Better not pick it up for real. Is that Lucio? Lucio! That's hilarious! I didn't pick up that piece of gear that I really wanted. It'd be great for me. I was just getting so sick of it that I was just like, just finish it and I'll come back to it and I forgot. Oh man, that sucks. That sucks a lot. That was great gear. What was it? It was a chess piece with five strength on it. Yep, this is way better than the one I'm wearing. Farkas. Farkas and Sir Laura. Shit, man, that sucks. Yep. I thought I had freaking Losa go grab it, man. I could have swore I had her go grab it. Where's... There. Wow, that's a big old puddle. Probably means that I'm gonna get someone that steals so I don't... If I... God Morgan. Hey! What's up, dude? Dallas said you would come, old friend. You were always hard as diamonds, and twice as bright. Pat. Your divine welcomes you. The traitor himself, the divine you once selflessly served, the one you thought dead, lords over the chamber from a granite throne. He moves to speak, but it's Riedemann's voice that next pierces the air. Going up with the brackets. What a twist. Yep. Lucian frowns at Riedemann. Then bestows a benevolent smile upon you. All that you know of him flashes across the panorama of your mind. I underestimated you, Godwoken. You have proven to be a formidable foe. You have my respect. And get hammered. Respect. Indeed. Lucian's gaze rests upon you and goes through you. He takes your measure entirely. Lucian, we should tell him the truth. Yes, I agree. 
It is time we dropped our masks. Dallas nods, then reaches for the sides of her head. Where there was one face, suddenly there are four. She takes off the mask of the shapeshifter. A skull is revealed, bejeweled and ancient as the void. I am eternal. Aren't they just you have four full heads of surprises? Roll your eyes, you've seen this coming. Clarifies very little demand in next month. Yeah, I kind of want to do that. Demand next Fear month. Fear not, old friend. Dallas is on the side of all that is good. She is helping me rid Rivalon of the influence of the source. Listen to her. I shall tell you the tale as I told it to Lucian. Long ago, the Scholar Fane discovered that the veil between the world and the void was made of source. Our seven lords desired this power. Of course. Silence, slave. Our king forbade the seven to reach for this power, but they didn't listen. Instead, they rebelled and sent the king and his people into the void with the source they stole from the veil the seven created the races so they would have worshippers how would they need work i guess someone's praying for me and i get during their lives worshippers collect source when they die the gods feed from them that's fucked up it's an ingenious system our souls are nothing but vats for the source-hungry gods. The Seven made a mistake. By taking its source, they tore a hole in the veil, and it is through this hole that the Void finds its way into our world. The Seven's lust for power let in the Void. Our goal is to close the hole they created, to restore the source to the veil. When we are done, there shall be no more source in the world. Rivalon will be finally free from the gods that enslave them. I know more about their I point. seek vengeance against the king and against the seven. There is more, but she hesitates to share it. Then she decides that she must. I was a child when the God King tore my family apart. I was purged of sores and left to rot in a putrid tomb. A child. It was hell. A hell I suffered for the sins of my father. He was the one that betrayed the God King. He was the one that told the Seven the secrets of the Veil. The cruel joke of it all is that the same tomb that housed my tortured body is what sheltered me from the Void. Few Eternals escape that fate. Wait. Myself. Fane? My mother. Dad? And Fane. Yes. Fane is my father. Oh, snap. What? No. It can't be. Everything Dallas did. It was all you. Child. Everything I did, I did to fix your uh -oh. mistake. Our people. Every purged sorcerer, every dead magister, all those weeping families, they're on your head, father. But now I have revenge. Revenge on the Seven and the God King. Revenge oh, for what no. they took from me. My life. My people. My mother. The hammer's voice falters and her coolness vanishes. Every crack and rasp betrays her grief. But her next words burn not with sadness, but anger. Emily, welcome back. How are you? Thanks for dropping in again. It's good to see you. Do you even look for me? I think we're at the end of the game. Do you even look for her? And we're finding out some heavy stuff regarding Fane. Just control yourself. Our purpose transcends your personal wounds. Yes, you. Oh, come on, Fane. I'll, you're such a goofball. Dallas's reasons weren't mine to question. All that ever mattered to me was peace. Peace for Rivalon. Peace for me, whatever the means. And now, we are on the precipice.
know all these questions. What happened to the real she Dallas? Sacrificed herself for the betterment of Rivalon. She didn't do it willingly, mind you. Curiosity led her to the tomb. My hunger for source took care of the rest. I presume her bones. Oh, you're fucked there. up. And then I took up lace. Face rippers are such marvels, aren't they? It didn't take long to realize that Lucian was the key to my vengeance, and I was the key to the salvation of Rivalon. Yeah, um, he wants peace. Ask how his brutal actions are meant While to achieve peace. Sought the Aetiran, I started draining the gods of their source. Slurp, slurp, slurp. <laughs> One more word from you, and I shall use the leash. I had to hide from the gods. It must be quiet, so or it gets the leash. Equipped with tenebrium and protections put in place. It worked. Everyone, even the gods, thought me dead. As divine, I was created, empowered to stop the void. I was the avatar of the seven. Their strength and their weakness. My bond to them allowed me to drain them of their source. Yeah, kind of like this one. He is the source king and slave. And I want to say all these things. I want to say this. Brackus Rex. I am no slave. With a flick of her wrist, Dallas sends a jolt through Brackus's body. He writhes in pain. Sounds like you are to me. Don't worry. He's well under control. He has made a fine servant. Isn't that right? In great. Oh, they made Brackus their bitch. Find the Eteran. When we're done, I'll release him from his duty and free him from his pain. Until then. Dallas punctuates her statement with another wrist flip. Bracus shudders, but his lips remain curled in a self-satisfied grimace. Uh, I'm gonna say stealing the source of the gods allowed the void here. Yes, in a sense. When the death fog was unleashed, many elves died. With fewer elves to worship him, Tears and Dilius weakened. This gave the God King his first real foothold back in the world. To strengthen himself, he sent his Void Woken, the remnants of my people, to hunt down the sorcerers seeking to reclaim their source. The Void Woken. Disgusting things. They ravaged the land they touched and infected the air they breathed. They were also an incredible stroke of luck. You see, blaming the sorcerers for Voidwoken made them easier to capture. The Eteran now contains almost all of the source the Seven stole. Soon, we will be able to heal the Veil. The Void shall be banished, and I, Lucian the Divine, shall return from the dead. I don't trust you, mate. A false Divine, of course. I shall have no power. But the world will not know this. Really? I shall demand peace, and we shall have it. Okay, if he's aware that he won't have power, I, I thought he was just like, I don't want anyone else to have power so I could be the ultimate rule. He's not actually going to have power. The plan is almost complete. We have made so many sacrifices, Ifan. All of us, of ourselves and those we love. One last sacrifice is required. For the future of Rivalon, you must surrender your source. Decide. Be the true hero and give up your source, or be forced to submit like a coward. Like this is a slave. lot of people I'd have to fight. There is no other way. The source of the world is required to close the veil. All of the source. We only lack yours. <laughs> 